so it's been about 96 hours since my surgery. When I had my gallbladder out, that was when I started to really feel better. It was about four days later. Um, so I'm kind of waiting for that to happen again. Uh, this cooling machine is my life. Um, I don't like how I can't flip the camera while recording a video. Uh, the chin strap really fucks with my voice. Um, I've been talking in a lower voice all week. Blah, blah, blah. There's so much fucking surgery stuff. Post-surgery stuff. Like, after I eat, I have to go, brush my teeth, use the prescription mouthwash, clean the crust out of my eyes, do nose drops to help clear up my nose, shove Vaseline up my nose with a Q-tip, like, way the fuck out there, use bruise cream, use scar cream, which is on my gallbladder scars, but it's going to be on these scars in two weeks. Um, then I take my normal two, three meds, then I also take painkiller, um, uh, it's, uh, just, it's a bunch to keep up with. Meanwhile, I've been using this cooling machine. It is a water-cooled active cooling machine. It's hooked up to this mask. I have to unhook every time I go to the bathroom, which is a pain in the ass. The uh, other part is this part. For, you know, sleeping with this. It's not really easy to sleep with that. Sometimes the pressure hurts. This makes me feel like shit. Like, I could feel... I got up and socialized for like three hours. I put this on. My lips get dry right away. Oh, I've been putting Vaseline on my lips. My lips get dry right away. Um, and I wake up a few hours later feeling like shit because of this, but it helps the healing. Um, I can't feel anything here. I can't feel this. I can't feel this at all. I've been drooling. Carolyn walks around barefoot. It's like, ew, is this your drool? Yeah, it's my drool. I can't even tell when I'm drooling. I have to get a paper towel to walk around. I got stitches here. For a while, my, my eyes are actually shown partially shut, which explains why I couldn't fucking see for the first two days. But it was kind of a trippy experience now that it's over. It was like playing a video game where you could only see like this much. Um... I almost fell a few times, bumped into shit, got scratches on my legs from bumping into stuff. Been laying in bed and just like Facebooking and Instagramming most of the time. Been taking a lot of pictures to document things like I always do. Um, today and I think tomorrow are the maximum swelling days and then on day six or so it should start to go down. But of course that day I've been in an airplane all day, so I can't really treat myself. Um, only 80% of the swelling goes down in a month. The rest could take three months. Getting feeling back here could take one and a half years. I might have a numb spot here forever. That's just uh, risks you take. Oh, I have to shower every day to clean this incision. Showering every day is its own tyranny. You have to shower but not get this wet. My lips are always dry. What really hurts are my lower teeth. I had some sister rolls and it was right by my nerve. And it hurt for weeks as the um, teeth, nerves regrew to the teeth. I would get these attacks like when your leg wakes up. I have to rub it with paper towels. I'm not there yet right now. They just hurt. It feels like every tooth had a root canal of all my lower teeth. Can't chew solid foods for like a month. Eating lasagna, cereal, but I gotta let the cereal get soggy. Smoothies. It's really fucking boring and they don't have ice cream here. I'm going all in on the ice cream when I get back. It's gonna be ice cream 24 fucking seven. I'm gonna get some Wendy's Frosties, get like 10. Medicinal Frosties are great. Medicinal Wendy's Frosties, you put them in and you just leave it in your mouth. It cools your wound. 
then you swallow it and it tastes good and then it gives you all that fat and extra calories that helps your body heal um, I don't know if it's based in any science but I've seen hospital drinks that have like a thousand calories I think when your body hurts you want more fuel which is fine for me I love fucking eating lots of calories I starve myself to lose weight I fast I'll eat like two apples in a day and then or one apple in a day and a dinner so if I can go eat like a pint of ice cream then I'm pretty fucking happy that'll help offset this bullshit Gonna get my stitches removed, 7.45 a.m. Monday, an hour before I get in the train and take the plane ride home. Gonna be a miserable eight and a half plane ride. But then I can go to D.C. and eat edibles and finally fucking sleep for the first time in like nine days. I have not slept more than two hours at a time. I have not slept more than four hours in any day. So I'm looking forward to getting some real rest. By the way, Kate, thank you for getting our mail. I appreciate that. We've been watching our house on the security camera, looking at Last FM and seeing the music is still playing. It's always nice to know your house isn't burnt down. Um, yep, that's about as much bullshit as I can say right now. Boop. Boop. That was six minutes, holy shit. Stop the video, I'm pressing the button. Multi-touch. Okay, here we go. 